My name is Andrew, and this is Rogue Wrenching. Today we're going to be building an RV gate for my neighbor. It's going to be the same, very similar design to what I constructed for myself, as you see here in this video or in that video. If you haven't seen it, there's a link to the video that I did when I built my gate. So I'm building another gate for my neighbor, and I'm going to show you guys kind of more of a detailed gate construction and some of the key things that go into making a good gate that will last a long time and looks good and all of those things. Step one, we got to get the material from my backyard on the trailer in the garage. Now that all the material is in the garage, we're going to cut our metal, which is one inch by two inch rectangle tubing, and we're going to cut it. We're going to miter the corners so each piece is going to get a 45 degree cut so that it all meshes together with no open ends when we're done. Now that we've made all of our cuts with a 45 degree miter on them, we're going to build a box and weld it up. The first step in putting this frame together is I'm going to tack weld the corners and then I'm going to measure corner to corner and then the opposite two corners to make sure that we are exactly square. Once we are for sure square, I'll lay a couple more tacks, flip the frame over, and then a couple more tacks, verify the square, and then we'll weld this puppy up. Now, where we're at is I have built the exterior frames for both gates and what you can see right here, I've laid in some wood just to kind of give you an idea of what's happening. And then I went ahead and welded on the hinges. Now what I bought were weld-in hinges, which as you can see, basically what I did is I just drilled a couple of large holes in them. That way I had an extra bit of edge to weld to. And what we're gonna do is once the gates are assembled and painted and ready to go, I'm going to attach the one inch by one inch right angle. That's going to be attached to the block wall with concrete self-tapping screws, which are self-tapping, not self-drilling. So you buy it in a kit from Home Depot and get a four inch screw, it comes with the drill bit, use a hammer drill, drill into the block, and then I'm gonna countersink holes into the one inch by one inch angle. And that's what's gonna hold to the block wall. And then the gates, the gates weld on hinges will be welded on in place. That way we can get them exactly level and there's no issues of it's a tiny bit off square or anything silly like that. So that's what we got, that's where we're at. So the next couple of steps here is we need to trim a couple of boards to length and then we're going to lay the boards in. Now the boards are only a little bit over a half inch thick. So I'm gonna lay boards in on the ground and then lay the metal backing pieces on the back so I know exactly where to put them and then tack weld them in place, pull the boards out, weld them all the way, and then weld on the gate latch and hardware. Then we can go ahead and paint these puppies up. Once they're painted, we'll attach the boards and go install. Now, the install is not at my house, it's at a neighbor's house, so I won't be able to show you all of that, but that's kind of the gist of what we're doing. I'll show you a little bit more along the way and then we'll wrap this up shortly.
Now that everything is fully assembled, it is time to paint. So we're gonna tape off the hinges and some of the hardware that we don't want painted, and then we're gonna give this guy a quick coat of paint. Here is the finished product. 